what what do you mean uh, uh, by a model right maybe that maybe that's a good way to sort yeah. of like put it and kind of like tie that into how it enables ai mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so like let's let's take instead of a whole factory let's take a single machine right um so we work in electronics where you have uh, these pick and place machines for example so there's like robots that are pick you know you picture your green circuit board that's inside your phone it's got chips on it that's picking up a chip and putting it down right so what would like the bare simple model be like in software you would say i have a machine and the machine does a placement operation so like that's all i define in software a machine exists like you know maybe I have three of them machine one machine two machine three of my software and they do a placement and i'm going to connect one piece of data which is every time i do a placement i i just count you know one two three okay that is a digital twin of that machine. It's not a very sophisticated one, but it is one. Okay, how about I go further than that? Like when I place, I have a a pressure value. I have a coordinates. Maybe I get a picture of it. Maybe there's all kinds of error codes. Maybe there's states. Maybe this machine is actually has multiple robotic arms. Maybe it has a material, a sensor telling me about the material feed in. So now I have 10 attributes of my machine that are also connected to sensor data and, and values. Okay, now I have a better model of my machine. So I've got my factories made of three of these robot placers and each robot placer has, you know, 10, 10 attributes, right? So yeah, anyways, uh, what I mean by the model is in software, the, 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 the object, right? Defined and connected to the data and, and then a good or a more complex or complete digital twin means how much of the physical operation of the machine can be captured into that. So my, my own background building semiconductor equipment, you know, I, I was more lab grade equipment. So I was usually using like National Instruments Lab View or, you know, test stand on the test machines, these kinds of things. People are familiar with the, these kinds of things, but you know, you're, you're, you're building your machine software and you're like, what are the pieces of my machine? Do I have a sensor associated with each one? Oh, I have temperature. Do I just have one temperature sensor for the whole machine? Do I have 10 at different points, you know? And so, if those sensors exist and they're critical to how the machine operates, ideally you are getting more and more of that into your software model, your your digital twin of the machine, so that it more and more represents everything that is known in the real world about the machine. Th- this again is what enables AI. So we have this simple picture we show that it can't pull up here, but maybe we can picture it in our minds. It's like if, if you as a person, if like we were in a factory today and we were looking out, you would see, you know, everything, your eyes, your ears, like you would see the machine, you'd see the lights flashing, you'd see all the operation happening, right? That's your head's model of, of you know, <laughs> your, your mind model of the machine. It's pretty rich. You can see everything. But for a lot of people's data models, they've just got the machine and maybe just the, like that, you know, there's a light on top, picture that light that's going like green, yellow, red, right? And that's the yeah. only thing that they have connected yet today. So their digital twin of the machine is just a machine exists and it's green or it's red. And that's the only thing they know. And that's the only thing that AI can know, right? Whatever's in your digital twin, that's what you can feed to these new AIs. Hey, the AI just, it, 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 it accepts data. So say, hey, give me data. Here's what I have. I have three machines in a factory and I can tell you if they're green or red. And the AI is like, well, I'm extremely intelligent, but uh, I can't tell you very much about it. I can tell you when they're green or they're red. <laughs> you know? On the other hand, if you took the time and you have a great digital twin, the AI can go, mm, I can tell you exactly how much time they're spending you know, up and down in different error states. Well, I also have the, the error manual. I know the errors in the error manual. I can tell you what the error codes mean. Well, I have the pressure values. I could help you predict when that uh, pressure is gonna go off and you're going to have a maintenance. And then when you have a maintenance, I can tell you how to fix it because I know what, why it happened, and I have the manual that tells me what to do about it. So suddenly you start getting these rich outcomes when you've linked more of that data together.